hello, this is a picture for Commander Andrew Johnson, and I'll put the link to his stream that he does in the video description, so you can go along and watch him playing the game that this is a picture of. Anyway, this is a picture of a traditional space shot, I guess, as the sort of screenshot you might see if uh, you play Elite. And uh, it's it's the blackness of space with an Earth-like world, and they always look really impressive. I think Earth-like worlds do. And you've got uh, a fleet carrier, a big old battleship, coming in to land at the fleet carrier. So pretty much self-explanatory, to be honest. I've got uh, a couple of the landing pads. I've got the lights on and uh, trying to show the paint job of the fleet carrier in the blackness there. It's all very dark and you can't see all of the fleet carrier. It's sort of silhouetted a little bit. You sort of more that there's, there's faint lines suggested here and there. The spaceship was uh, at the left-hand side, and I don't know whether anybody who's used the outside camera knows. The distortion on it was pretty extreme, as was the planet. The planet sort of was uh, a J-shape, so I've kind of faked quite a lot of this. So uh, it's not where it is on the original picture, but the original picture's got a bit more dynamic quality to it. And I, I think I cocked it up a little bit because I used Photoshop to move the spaceship shape and there was another copy of the spaceship behind the spaceship so I had <laughs> so I ended up with with two ship kit fins rather than one and I'd realized towards the end when I looked at the original picture again and I had to get rid of it I tried to make it as as true to the original color of the paint job as I could but I found it quite difficult to show the, the light of the star shining on this side and the shadow on the other side while still keeping that color it's kind of greenish bluish khaki color and I quite like the blue the blue detailing on it but uh, I, I just not quite got that right but it is it's fine it's it's quite nice doing the dark side and the silhouetting of those of the structure of the ship against this this, this great big blue planet. Earth likes are always wonderful. I've found a few when I've been travelling and exploring, and it's quite uh, it used to be the big thing that used to make you money in Elite if you were the first person to find an Earth like world. It used to bring in the millions. It still does, but it's not. It's not exciting bringing in millions anymore. The economy of the galaxy has somewhat changed in the last two or three years. Uh, and and what used to be quite impressive comparatively is no longer quite as exciting. It's still wonderful, though, when you are the first person to clap eyes on this uh, on this planet, this amazing jewel in the blackness. And you can imagine seeing it and living there and, and, and the different moons and other planets in those systems and what might be there. And what colour is the star that it's orbiting? And the good thing is, because of the size of the galaxy, there's tons more out there to discover. You've just got to be patient and have a good look round. I, I think I think the Earth-like worlds are still exciting to find, especially with the FFS scanner. You see that little glow at the bottom of the screen that shows that there's something in that region of the dial that suggests there might be. There might be something. And of course, it's always a, a rocky planet. <laughs> but it's sometimes not. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will probably do another one soon. All right, bye.